Finally, 19 GOP congressmen call for hearings on Mueller to bring his team out of the shadows. 19 GOP congressmen signed a letter which was sent Friday calling for congressional hearings on special counsel Robert Mueller to keep him and his 17 liberal hack lawyers accountable. The letter sent to House Judiciary Committee Chairman Bob Goodlatte and Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley opens up by pointing out that every U.S. attorney has to be confirmed by the Senate. This process brings forward any conflicts of interest, bias, or questionable past conduct. Mueller and his team arguably have more power yet have not gone through any such process. This team has sweeping authority and an open-ended mission, yet they are allowed to operate largely in secret, selected by and ultimately accountable to only one person, Mr. Mueller himself. With numerous reports emerging almost every day on possible conflicts of interest and allegations of political bias, it would be in the interest of both the public and the special counsel team to speak to the American people through their elected representatives in Congress. Accordingly, we respectfully request that one of both of the Judiciary Committees immediately convene a public and open hearing or series of hearings to bring Mr. Mueller and his team out of the shadows and into the public square. Fox News analyst and attorney Greg Jarrett also said many times that Mueller is hopelessly conflicted in violating the law. President Trump should demand he resign. As the Gateway Pundit previously reported, special counsel Robert Mueller added his 16th and 17th radical left-wing lawyer to his team in early August and mid-September respectfully, respectively, as he continues to investigate Trump's personal finances under the guise, quote, of the uh, Russian probe. Kyle Freenly, the 17th lawyer to be hired, specializes in money laundering and was present as a former Trump campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, testified in front of a grand jury at federal court in Washington. Greg Andres is the 16th lawyer to be added to Mueller's team. He worked under Eric Fast and Furious Holder from 2010 to 2012. No bias here, though, right? This is completely a completely fair investigation, as Paul Ryan says. Give me a break, right? Here is a look at the 15 other attorneys who will investigate Trump. Rush Atkinson, an attorney on detail from the Criminal Division's Fraud Section at the Department of Justice, donated $200 to Clinton in 2016. Peter Carr, spokesman under Obama. Andrew Goldstein, a public corruption prosecutor on detail from the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York. Worked under Trump basher Preet Bahara in the liberal New York Southern District. Adam Jed, an appellate attorney on detail from DOJ's Civil Division, defended Obamacare at the DOJ. Robert Mueller, special counsel, team leader. Best friends to fired leaker James Comey. Lisa Page, an attorney on detail from the FBI's Office of the general counsel and a former trial attorney with the criminal division's organized crime and gang section investigated Ukrainian oligarch Dmitry Firtash, a one-time business partner of former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort at the DOJ. Elizabeth Prey Logar, an appellate attorney on detail from the office of the Solicitor General, fluent in Russian, former law clerk to Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Elena Kagan. 
James Quarles, a former partner at Wilmer Hale and a former assistant special prosecutor for the Watergate Special Prosecution Force, former assistant special prosecutor on the Watergate Special Prosecution Force. Jeannie Ree, a former partner at Wilmer Hale, who has served in the office of legal counsel at DOJ as an assistant U.S. attorney for the District of Columbia. Ree is a Clinton Foundation lawyer and former deputy assistant attorney general in the office of legal counsel under Barack Obama. Brandon Van Grack, an attorney on detail from the Justice Department's National Security Division, led a grand jury inquiry in, in Northern Virginia scrutinizing former Trump associate Michael Flynn's foreign lobbying. Andrew Weissman, who is on detail from the Criminal Division's fraud section and who has served as general counsel at the FBI as an assistant U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of New York, Weissman donated $2,300 to the Obama Victory Fund in 2008, $2,000 to the DNC in 2006, and at least $2,300 to the Clinton campaign in 2007. Aaron Zebley, a former partner at Wilmer Hale, who has previously served with Mueller at the FBI, and has served as an assistant U.S. attorney in the Eastern District of Virginia, worked with Robert Mueller at the Wilmer Hale firm. These other Mueller attorneys on detail from the U.S. Attorney's Office in the District of Maryland worked under Assistant Attorney General Rod Rosenstein in Maryland. Zainab Ahmad, a top national security prosecutor on detail from U.S. Attorney's Office in the Eastern District of New York. Mich Mikhail uh, Dreben, an appellate attorney on detail from the Office of the Solicitor General, described by former colleagues as one of the biggest criminal law experts of the past two generations. President of Judicial Watch, Tom Fitton, has repeatedly called for Mueller, the Mueller investigation to be shut down as it is unsupervised and unconstitutional. Why did the Republicans wait so long to finally call for oversight on this obvious witch hunt? That's a very good question. Very good question that should be answered. Like to know the answer to that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and again Thank you so much for watching.